In today's video, we're taking a look at a 60 can beverage refrigerator. This particular refrigerator is made by New Air. It has a maximum capacity of 60 cans, but you can also cool other stuff. And that's because the temperature range from this particular refrigerator is from 34 degrees Fahrenheit to 54 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 1.1 Celsius to 12.2 Celsius. Now that you got your temperature knowledge, for the day, we can look at the dimensions of this fridge. It has a height of 19.75 inches, a width of 16.75 inches, and a depth of 18.9 inches. But if you thought we were done with numbers, here's another one for you. It weighs about 44 pounds. Testing the fridge out, we've noticed it's very quiet. You can't hear it when it runs. It does come with the hinge to the right side for the door. It can easily be moved to the left side. And if you want to check out how to do that, you can check out our video on how to do that. We have a door handle that's built in in the door frame, meaning that it's not going to take up extra space or that eventually you're going to have a handle in your hand that's going to come off. And you know, there's always one in the household that they think that they have to prove their power every time they open or close the fridge. On the back of the refrigerator, we have the compressor, the temperature control knob, and the drip tray. You can control the temperature from zero to five. Zero being off, and five would be the coldest. And on the drip tray, that's where all the water is going to be collected from condensation, if any. Inside the refrigerator, we have one shelf, and that can be placed in three different places. You can go halfway the fridge, you can go halfway on the back or you can go three quarters of the way up. But the way you place your grill is up to you. At the end of the day, you are the sea gal of martial arts. And don't let nobody tell you otherwise. You know we've got your back. On the bottom portion of the fridge, you have nine inches of space. But if you use the top shelf, you can fit something up to 15 inches. You have about 14 and a half inches wide and you can fit something as tall as 16 inches and a half. So now that we calculated all the stuff that we could put in here and that goes way beyond cans, let's go ahead and take a look at the temperature reading and getting a reading from the source, we get 25 degrees Fahrenheit or about 3.8 Celsius. Moving around the fridge as it gets colder, we also get a reading of 35 in a different place or about 1.6 Celsius. So meaning that having the door open, we're still getting great numbers. And this is placing the temperature at the highest number, number five, which is the coldest. And a pro tip, if you Google beverage temperatures, you'll notice that this machine will cool them. At the bottom of the refrigerator, we have the leveling legs, which you can level to your desire. So depending on how tired the workers were, when they built the location where you're going to place the refrigerator is the amount of adjustment you'll have to do to level it out. As you can see, the refrigerator is black all around. The window itself is tinted a little bit and the door frame is stainless steel, giving it a nice look. Even though that the refrigerator's description is for 60 cans, you can cool whatever your heart's desire, where you have enough space to cool your lunch down, a couple of drinks, or even adding big bottles by removing the grill or laying them flat. Your imagination is really the limit. Overall, in our testing, we really liked how quiet the refrigerator is. We really liked how it's only 85 watts, meaning that's good for the pocket. And finally, how small and stylish it is that it can be placed anywhere and look good, just like you. That's why you're watching the video, because that's what good looking people do. If you want more information about this refrigerator, we're going to leave a link on the description and everything else that we used on the video. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone in the Statabox team or someone in the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching and here's a link 
to our latest video.